So what was it like for you as a, as a, as a young guy growing up in Ireland? Like, what was life like for you, like school, you know, the locality? Tell me a bit about that. Um, I was born in Stone Newington and Hackney and moved over to Ireland when I was about four or five. Um, it was a small, uh, small town in Ireland, uh, not that many people in it, a couple of thousand, um, like seven thousand, eight thousand or something like that at the time. Um, nothing much to do in the town. I, I, I found it funny, when I moved back here when I was 17, I moved in with my cousins um, in West London and my aunt and um, I had a lot of friends over here anyway. So when when they used to say to me, oh yeah, oh, there's nothing to do here, but what else are we supposed to do, there's nothing for the kids here, I was thinking, you think there's nothing to do for the kids here? I said, we used to have to get a bus, like 30 minutes to go to the cinema. Uh, do you know what I mean? There wasn't like, there wasn't any, there was no, no, there was no nothing. There was no like, even down to the small, like, you see a McDonald's everywhere. All right, just say extreme of that. I'm not promoting McDonald's, you see, <laughs> Mac, you see McDonald's everywhere. We didn't even have a McDonald's in that town. You know, so people say we had nothing to do, we had nothing to do. Um, but it was all right, you know, Irish culture is very interesting. Um, and, and then there's a certain laid back side to it, which I, I, I like. And there's, and there's a certain kind of classness, class, no, not classness, what would be the word I'm looking for? Class doesn't, didn't really exist too much, as, it, as much as it does here when I was growing up, you know. Um, so yeah, everyone's equal. Yeah, kind of in a way, everyone seemed quite equal, you know, obviously there was certain, issues with me being English in Ireland because at the time you know obviously the history and everything like that you've got a little cockney boy coming over do you know what I mean uh, that there were certain issues that that, that 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 got brought up with that but it was it was it was an interesting upbringing you know and it made me the man I am today you know and it made me view the world in a different perspective it made me a lot more open-minded because I had to be you know um, and it, then again it allowed me to, to get into music a lot more as well and I think it opened my mind musically to a lot more different things I think the traditional Irish music side of things did as well and I got brought up in the Irish hip hop scene you know I was an Irish hip, hip hop MC since I was 15 so um, yeah it was interesting you know I went to an old boys school uh, a Catholic priest for an old boys school <laughs> in Ireland um, yeah. And then I left school when I was um, 17 and, and pursued to camp and moved over here after working a couple of jobs in Ireland to pursue music. What, what kind of job did you do? I worked in, um, I worked in a, a cafe, it was like a, it was called brunch, um, and I was a general assistant cleaning toilets, cleaning dishes and stuff like that. After a while I got into a bit of uh, trouble back in Ireland so uh, I couldn't exactly go out of the country uh, too much <laughs> and I had to... Um, <laughs> And I was working in a petrol station, um, yeah, just a petrol station on the till. I mean, so yeah, and th 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 but them jobs, like they again, they made everything in Ireland. I experienced in Ireland. I grew up in Ireland. I mean, I'm, in the end of the day, I, I'm Irish. You know what I mean, I obviously, I'm half and half. I'm 50-50, you know. Um, but I grew up in Irish society, you know. Um, and every everything that I experienced in Ireland, you know what I mean, made me the person I am today. And I would never change one bit at all. You know, it made me. It made, I feel like I'm an open-minded person, you know, and yeah. that really made me open-minded.